Terry here. Energy focus for the week. What is going on with your energy? I always like to start with the cosmic forces. Helps us to understand. So here we are this week. We're at the end of a cycle. Coming around, we have a new moon coming in at the end of the week, as well as the Lunar New Year. So what does this mean for you? We talked a little bit about this last week, but what we want to do as we go to start this week and move all the way through the week is clear up, clean out, let go, clean up the clutter, clean up the clutter of the mind, all of this in preparation to make room for new energy, new possibilities that this new Lunar Year will bring in for you. It is an important time to really clear away. Notice how you're feeling. Here we are in February, all right, and we're more than halfway through winter, yay, but it is an opportunity for you to kind of go deep within and ask yourself over the course of this winter, what are those messages that have been coming in for you? What is your soul, your higher self, want you to know. And this way it will help you to bring forward your dreams, your visions, ways in which you can set energy as we move into the spring. So this week as we start out, we've got some of that fire energy with the moon in Sagittarius, which is like opening up, explore, wander. And then we kind of drop into the Capricorn, grounding us into the earth. And you may notice middle of the week, your energy drops, dark of the moon. We're still in winter, right? So just allow yourself to know Know that that new moon will come in and that not all is lost. Notice what you're doing. I know right now in humanity there is a lot of isolation and loneliness, but what I have discovered is that when I come into my soul's work, my meditation, my quiet time, I do feel a sense of connection and the loneliness goes away. I can hear the messages. I can feel that co-creating with spirit and it really helps me feel connected to everyone, it really does. So try it for you if you are feeling a little bit of that loneliness, right? Spend some time within you. And I know most of us wanna reach out there, we're a little afraid maybe of what we're gonna hear, but these are the things that we need to lift up, to let go of, to bring light to, that will help you understand your path your sole purpose right now. So February is a month about love. I know we have Valentine's Day come in, but why wait? Let it begin with self-love. And as we talked about last week on the podcast, sacred massage, finding ways that you can work with your own energy, set up your space, and really bring in the idea of touch for a greater sense of love for yourself, your partners, and all of those around you. It is a time to bring forward self-care, self-love. As you love yourself, it will radiate out to all of those around you. So it's definitely not an act of being selfish, but one that can love yourself more and generate a better sense of health and wellness and feel that connection to spirit. So notice for you what's going on as we come to the end of the week, you're gonna to wanna to have that space cleared out so that you can set new intentions for your path. Year of the dragons coming in, the dragons mystical. Lots of energy coming in with that, which I'll talk about on the podcast for next week. But for right now and for this week, really the goal, the work is to clean up your space, clean up your mind, go deep within, start to bring those messages forward out into the world. Notice where you are right now. So let's take a moment and pause, center our energy so that we can look at the cards from inspiration and get ready for this new moon that comes in towards the end of the week. So wherever you are, if you can, close your eyes. Take a nice deep inhale, lighting a little sage, bringing in the element of fire, allowing it to move into that element of air, cleansing the mind, cleansing the space. Calling in the element of water, just let all the emotions flow through you. No emotion is ever final. Calling in the element of earth, grounding, centering. Taking another deep inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, just call all your energy into you. Call it in, center, center the spiritual body right on top of the physical, emotional, mental bodies. Taking another deep inhale. And as you exhale, dropping into the heart, right into the deepest part of the heart, feel that connection, your spirit and the greater spirit. Know that you're loved. Bring this love into you. 
taking a moment and just noticing where you are on this great wheel of life, sending a little Reiki out, tuning in to that intention that you want to set as you move through this week. Taking another deep inhale and exhale, grounding, centering, and as you're ready, feel the hearts opened, the third eye aware, and then blink the eyes back open, coming back. Taking a moment, feel that peace within you. As I go to draw some cards, drawing from the Empowered Spirit Tarot. All right, so the first card that I have here daughter of water this is such a perfect card for resonating with self-love look within her that inner child right she opens her heart she has the innocence of love that's what we want not the conditions we put on or the transactions we have with it but pure opening the heart unconditional love perfect for right now and the card that follows follows it is also a water card Six of, six of water. Six is harmony. Six is about letting it radiate out all around you. There's some innocence here. If you look very closely, it's like this innocence of these two lovers coming together. But that's you, your soul, your spirit, your connection. And let it radiate out all around you. Yes. And then I love this. Here we go. For the new year coming in, the year of the dragon, wheel of fortune. It's time to move that wheel forward. So the mo more you love yourself... The more you radiate that love out, this wheel turns. Fortune comes in. It's also like a good luck card. It's also like a gambler's card. Take a chance on you. Believe in you. Have confidence in what you do as we open up to bring in those messages from winter forward for your dreams, your vision. Let that wheel move. Gratitude. It's also a gratitude card. And then I love this. One of my favorite in the deck is the strength card. It takes strength to sit on that lion, but also it brings in so much more abundance, infinite prosperity above her head, the courage. Courage opens the heart to have the strength to bring your dreams forward from the winter to love yourself more. Beautiful message as we move through this week and open up to that new moon energy. Bring in that luck, clear your space, love yourself, take a chance on you. Open your heart with strength, with courage. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Bring in these messages forward. See if they resonate with you. Before I go to close, if you're local to the area, on Thursday this week, 2-8, we will be over at Birmingham Treehouse for a Reiki Circle. Yes, come practice, come receive, come give energy, come join in community. The Birmingham Treehouse is a great, beautiful, creative Airbnb, doing events, yoga, so much going on there. Come join us. And then on the 22nd, we will be doing some psychic development. Drop in, practice your skills, a lot of fun, join in. We do need this awareness, these teachings to come forward. And then if you're not local, come join me in my Energy Mastery Sanctuary on the last Saturday of the month, the 24th. In the afternoon, we're gonna do a virtual spiritual retreat, radiate confidence as we prepare for the spring. Check it out, you can find all the information either on my Instagram or on my website. So as we go to close, Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Feel gratitude for your path. Gratitude for all the possibilities coming in for you. Inhaling and exhaling, grounding all the way down. Have a great week to your spirit. Namaste.